Hey guys, I have been waiting so long to post a video like this. My book has officially been released in stores, so today we're gonna paint this hummingbird directly from the book. To get started, we're gonna follow the instructions over here and gather the colors that we're gonna need, including burnt sienna, Indian red, hooker's dark green, and indigo. You're also gonna need a round brush, size six is pretty good. And you're just gonna have to follow the instructions to get this cute little hummingbird result. The book comes with 50 pre-sketched illustrations, so literally all you have to do is follow the instructions and fill it in, and you'll learn so much along the way. To begin, we're gonna fill the entire peach body area of the bird with clean water until the paper is shiny. So you don't want it super wet, um, you just want it damp enough that you can see the water there, but you don't want any puddles. I'm just re-wetting my brush every so often and carefully following those lines with the edge of my brush to make sure that I get some nice crisp lines. Now I'm just gonna mix up a peach color using burnt sienna and a little Indian red. Then I'm gonna apply it directly to the wet paper. So I'm gonna start on the top left corner here and I'm just gonna slowly drag the color out and make sure that the entire body area here is covered. You can grab a little bit more water if you want to blend out the edge a little bit, just like I'm doing here. Now using a slightly darker tone of that same peach color, so that means using a little bit less water this time, we're gonna create a little dimension by adding a little of it to the left hand side just to darken that area a little bit. You can use your brush just to push the paint around and place it wherever you like because the layer underneath it is still wet, it's going to allow those two tones to blend together really nicely. Now we're gonna want to let this dry completely before we move on to the next steps. So once that is totally dry, we're gonna do the same thing for the head and the tail areas by wetting the paper first and then dropping in the color. So I'm just mixing up the color first here. I'm using Hooker's Dark Green and a little Indigo, just so I have that ready for when I'm gonna start dropping it in. Now I'm just going to wet that top head area. And then I'm gonna take that color that I mixed and apply that right into the wet area. You'll notice as well that the entire book is printed on a watercolor paper, so it does have that little bit of texture in it and it allows the paint to flow really nicely. I'm just adding a bit of a darker mix to the head here, just kind of in a dotting motion for a little bit of texture. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the back of the body right here. And then I'm gonna continue that down to the tail as well. So just wet each area first and then apply the color to it. I am gonna make sure that I paint those curved little edges along the bottoms of the tail as well. And then using a little bit more of the indigo, I'm just gonna go back in sort of over the lines a little bit, just to kind of separate the green and the blue.
Now to create the wings, we're gonna mix a very light, almost clear shade of indigo. So what you wanna do is take your indigo and just keep adding more water to it until it's nice and clear. Now you're just gonna quickly sweep the brush from the top to the bottom of the wings. This creates a really soft look and will allow the bottom of the wings to kind of feather off on their own. Now I'm gonna use that same peach color again and I'm just going to add that to the top of the wings creating little strokes just for a little extra detail. Now you're gonna wanna let that dry again because it's the final step. We're gonna go in and add some of the details to the bird. So using a mix of blue-green, so the hooker's dark green and the indigo, we're gonna kind of create um, sort of a darker shade. You can also add in a little bit of Indian red if you want to kind of make this more of a brown tint. But right now I'm just going to add a nice thin stroke to the top of the beak. And I'm pretty much just going to add details wherever I think it needs them. Feel free to totally experiment with this. Uh, you don't have to do the exact details that I did in the book. You can definitely venture out on your own and add more, add less. However you want to finish this is totally up to you. I decided in this one just to add a couple spots to the head and then I'm gonna add the standard <laughs> dots coming down the neck of the bird as well. I'm just keeping these really loose, kind of splotchy, all different sizes. And then I'm gonna add that same shade just to the body a little bit just randomly to give it a little bit more detail. And of course, I'm gonna to wanna to fill in the feet at the same time. I just wanted to define the tail feathers a little bit more, so I'm just adding that same color just to darken it a little bit in certain spots and give it a little bit more shadow and dimension. With a really light-handed stroke and a really light mix of that shade, I'm just gonna go over these pencil lines here to define the wings a tiny bit more. You don't want these too dark because you just want them to look very soft. Now for the final touch, the eyeball. You can use paint for this. You can mix up a little indigo um, if you want to do like a dark color or you can opt to do what I did and I'm just using a drawing pen. And I'm just going to fill in that eyeball and make sure I leave a little spot for a little white reflection.
And once that's dry, you've completed a project in my new book. I'm gonna leave all of the links below where you guys can purchase the book. If you do get it, do tag me on Instagram so that I can see it in action. I love, love, love seeing those shots. Here are a couple more projects from the book and I hope that you guys love it. I can't wait to see you in the next video.